Hi. In this video, we want to create some labels. So we have a file with some numbers. This is the number of the product, and this is the name of the product. Um, okay. So in this case, I concatenate the term product with uh, the number. So I have one thousand. Uh, products and I want to create for each one one label in order to print um, okay and I don't know now let's open writer and the first step is to create a connection between that file and writer so we go to wizards other data source other settings spreadsheet next we choose a file product list as a connection it's okay and finish next and here we rename it labels finish yes because i already have that uh, table now we want to create the labels so we go to file new labels so let's remove that we want from the database labels we want the from that table the sheet one and from here we want um, number and product id okay this is what i want for a label um, i suppose i don't have sheet one zero i have sheet one let's change here i'm not sure what is happening here but anyway I can modify later. Let's choose A4. And from here, uh, let's see, we have a horizontal pitch. It's a distance um, from here to the next label, okay? Including the space between. The width is from here to there. So, of course, horizontal pitch have to be uh, greater than the width and the same vertical pitch greater than the height you can see here the effect of changing that we want a distance between them in order to cut them so we can say how many columns we want how many rows we want and uh, we want on entire page and we want to synchronize the content in order to work once and have everything the same let's create a new document so we have these uh, labels um, it seems it doesn't work we have manually to change uh, the fields let's activate the data source and here let's insert number and down there the product id let's increase to see better okay so i'm working in one label i want to press enter to insert something here to center we can format as we want um, let's synchronize so all the labels will look the same also I want to bold I cannot bold this I need to bold the first one let's synchronize everything is bold now now we can generate them we go to file print and everything is done we select from here file as a single document the location will be here you can see here and we have to choose a name generated labels save you can see it's generated now let's see what we have we have this file here with labels it's bold like we want it's centered and we have um, 1000 labels printed now we can uh, do whatever we want with them so it's very easy thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video every week thank you